This week, Apple finally unveils the iPhone 5, Windows Phone 8 goes gold, first impressions of the Amazon Kindle Fire HD, and more. This is the Mobile Nation's Monday Brief. Greetings, Mobile Delegates. I'm Ashley Esqueda, and you're tuned in to the Mobile Nation's Monday Brief. This week on iMore, Renee and the gang reviewed a pretty awesome series of cases. Yeah, okay, just kidding. Obviously, this week was the Apple event, and Cupertino came out guns a with the iPhone 5 and a new lineup of iPods unveiled. The new iPhone is almost exactly as all of the leaks predicted with a taller screen, upgraded processor, thinner profile, and LTE. The online Apple store sold out of pre-orders and went to back order status in just one hour, making lining up at an Apple store the only way you'll be able to get your hands on a launch day iPhone 5, which is this Friday, September 21st. If you're desperately wanting the newest iPhone though and don't have the cash, iMore is having a contest to win. Hit up iMore.com and search for a free iPhone 5. All you have to do is register and leave a comment. It's that easy. Not only did the iPhone announcement not sway the loyal CrackBerry nation, it galvanized the troops. BlackBerry fans are still clamoring for any and all information about BB10 as its launch inches closer, and last week they got it in the form of a demo video showing off app switching and swipe gestures. Blaze over at CrackBerry notes though that the video seems to have been made back in June, meaning they may have only released it knowing it was irrelevant at this point in time. And even if it is accurate, it's by no means an indication of what we might see in the final and official version of BB10. Fortunately for you in the CrackBerry Nation, BlackBerry Jam Americas is taking place next week in San Jose, California. It's a sure bet CrackBerry will be there giving you all the details, so stay tuned to CrackBerry.com. Android Central got a hot little item in the mail this past week, the 7-inch Amazon Kindle Fire HD. They're busy putting it through its full paces for the review, but in the meantime, Jerry's got a first impressions hands-on for you to check out. And real quick, here's what everybody's gonna wanna see. There is the Kindle Fire HD on the left and the Nexus 7 on the right. You slide over this way and it opens up the store so you can learn more about it. In this case, we can watch the trailer for this revolution show. Hit the home button and it goes back. And if you see down at the bottom, there is another ad right on your home screen. This one is for a Harry Potter book. The seven inch version of the Kindle Fire HD is out right now and you can pick one up starting at a very affordable $199.99. If you're on the fence, stay tuned to AndroidCentral.com for the full lowdown in the coming weeks. Windows Phone Central giving WinPhone 8 fans something to celebrate this past weekend. It looks like Windows Phone 8 has officially gone gold, meaning the OS has been finalized in Redmond and they're ready to ship out those SDKs to OEMs so they can optimize it for their specific hardware. This is pretty big news for anybody looking to pick up a fancy new Windows Phone this holiday season and Danny and the rest of the Windows Phone Central crew are eyeballing an early November release for many of the carriers. They'll be keeping every eager fan up to date on WPCentral.com. Lastly, over in the land of WebOS Nation, another quote from Hewlett Packard hit the press that made the intrepid survivors of this past year cringe so hard their faces hurt. HP CEO Meg Whitman sat down with Fox Business last week and the topic of smartphones came up. Fingers crossed, everybody, no. Cringe number one, Meg saying WebOS was a detour. Cringe number two, Meg says at some point HP would ultimately have to offer a smartphone, but if you combine that with last year's mention by her that they would do a WebOS tablet maybe, but not likely a phone, and rumors that they're looking into Windows Phone 8 instead of WebOS, well, that all combines for a full-on hair-pulling-out moment for fans of WebOS. It's like proposing to a girl, having her say, I want to wait, and then hearing she got engaged to someone while you were still dating, and explains it by saying, I needed somebody looking for commitment. Rude. That's it for your Mobile Nation's Monday Brief. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mobile nation. Check out our network of dazzling and informative podcasts at mobilenations.com slash shows. And you can follow me on Twitter at Ashley Eskeva. Nations, you have been briefed.